A month back or so, I did a video about signs that show that your manifestation is coming. A lot of you showed a great interest in that topic, so I thought it's only fair to add another video to the list regarding signs and synchronicities. But this time around we are going to go much deeper so that you may exactly know if your desire is about to be fulfilled. But before you can expect to see any signs or synchronicities, your subconscious mind has to be impressed with your intention. I'm sure you must have heard of this so many times. So, once you have a particular desire, the next logical step is to imprint that desire in your subconscious mind. Why? Because your subconscious mind is the source of all creation. It is what gives physical form to your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. You have to make sure that your subconscious mind is pretty much drenched in the themes and colors of your desires. Looking out for signs is the step that soon follows. Now, if you are a true manifester who is interested in this knowledge, a question might arise in your mind. You would surely think about how you can gauge if your wonderful subconscious mind has really been impressed with your desire, right? Perfect. That is something we are also going to explore in this video along with the signs to look out for. I want you to have a sense of control over your manifestations, and that can only happen once you master the basics. And knowing if your subconscious mind is impressed with your desire or not is a part of the very basics of manifestations. Let's discuss this in detail. A lot of people believe that it is really impossible to know when your subconscious mind is impressed with your desire. The only way to know that is once you get your physical manifestation. But I think a little differently. I believe that we can know the state of our subconscious mind only if we are intuitive enough. Notice the word I used here, intuition. Have you ever heard of intuition? Have you ever relied on this great faculty at your disposal to get what you want or to get guidance in your life? Intuition is actually your higher self, a self that is beyond this physical persona you carry. Yes, it's a truth that you are a part of the infinite consciousness, and just because you chose to come in this body doesn't mean your connection with the source or your higher self is lost. Your higher self is always there to help you and guide you in everything. You just need to get into the practice of listening to it. Whether you are trying to manifest your dreams and the things you want just aren't coming about, or you feel stuck in life, your intuition is always there to help you out. The truth is that all the answers you are looking for are already inside you. Yes, since your mind is a part of the infinite consciousness, it has all the answers and the solutions to every problem you might face in your life. Intuition is the powerful force that can guide you on which path to take and which one to avoid. It's your inner voice that comes from a place of total love and appreciation, so there is no way that you can go wrong while following your intuition. Consider your intuition like a GPS that is going to guide you toward your dreams and goals. Of course, you can go about without using the GPS, but then you must expect to fail again and again while trying to find the right path. But with a GPS, your life will become much easier and your path will become much simpler to tread. You might ask that if intuition is our higher self and available to each one of us, then why don't we all make use of this amazing faculty? The answer is pretty simple. We have been trained not to. From a very young age, most of us are taught to pay attention to the opinions of other people and rely on our five senses to make sense of the world. Very rarely would you find a person who is in touch with his emotions and intuition. Because of this loss of connection with your higher self, you feel unsure, doubtful, and afraid to trust yourself. If you are one of those people, then don't worry, because you still can rekindle your amazing relationship with your higher self, your intuition. You can do this by becoming aware of your thoughts and feelings or cultivating self-awareness. The first and best way to cultivate a strong sense of self-awareness is through practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness literally means being conscious of the present moment. When we are not conscious of the present moment, we are caught up in unnecessary thoughts of the past or anxieties of the future. But when we are in the present moment, we find ourselves more deeply connected with our inner selves. Another great way to increase your level of self-awareness is taking up yoga. Yoga is much more than physical postures. It's an exercise for your mind. It teaches your body and minds the art and beauty of stillness. A lot of people also use journaling as a way to access their intuition, and yes, it works wonders if you do it consistently. It allows you to identify your thought patterns and helps you access the thoughts that might be disturbing your peace of mind. 
It also helps you get familiar with your own preferences, and that can go a long way in terms of manifesting. So, the point is that you have to get in connection with your intuition to know when your subconscious mind is impressed with your desire. It's like an inner knowing. When you will get so self-aware and mindful, it's no wonder that you will be able to gauge the patterns of your subconscious. Once you intuitively know that you have done a good job of impressing your subconscious with your desire, the next step is to look out for signs that your manifestation is very close to fruition. One important sign is that you don't feel stressed or triggered by the absence of your desire. This means you accept the reality as it is, but you know that no matter how the 3D looks right now, your desire is still going to come through. This kind of stillness and calmness comes about naturally as you start inching closer to your desire. Also, you stop complaining that you don't have what you want, and most importantly, you get go of the childish tendency to tell others that the law is not working for you. Instead, you just focus on the positive aspects and start seeing the glass half full. You realize that when you share your doubts or think about the lack of something in life, you give way to that negative energy to expand. You just keep your focus on the prize, unbothered by what's happening in real time or if your desire is here or not. Another amazing sign is that you stop asking every other person for a new technique or solution for your manifestation worries. You start trusting yourself and you find a sense of deep inner confidence. You also start realizing that you have done what you had to do, now it's time for the universe to do its magic, and you don't want to get in the way of that. But how will my manifestation come about? is a question that many of the manifestors start asking themselves or others soon after they learn about the law. But with time and practice, you learn that there is no way that you can ever predict the how. The how part is the job of the universe, and you won't be able to unlock that secret even if you try your best. Then what's the point of wasting your mental energies on trying to figure out something that's not for you to worry about? So, one important sign is that you open yourself to infinite possibilities. You realize that there are millions of ways your desire can come to fruition so, you just enjoy and trust the process. The last important sign is a deep surety and knowing that you are going to get what you want. You stop focusing on plan B or trying to find alternate routes to your desire. You become so relaxed and chilled out. You start enjoying life as it is with a strong faith and hopeful expectancy that what you desire is also on its way toward you. Tell me in the comments if you have been witnessing any of these signs lately. Share your experience so that others can learn from them. The next step in your successful manifestation journey is to keep watching my channel. Click now on the video on the screen to be inspired by another video.